tell us about Skyview HDX. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Skyview HDX is the newest in our line of Skyview systems. Skyview uh, debuted in 2009 uh, as our uh, upgrade to our first generation products. The expansion of Skyview X is the inclusion of a higher resolution and brighter screen with a different anti-glare coating on the front that leads to a crisper look and feel. And then a big change is just the overall look and feel of the product. It looks a lot more like a tablet nowadays. Uh, it's something that we call metal and glass design. It's a flush display. The bezel doesn't go in anywhere. And you'll notice at the bottom, this kick out at the bottom, which was something we worked with human factors experts on and realized that you don't really interact with a panel straight on. Using your wrist, you don't have to bend it all the way to get down. And this also uh, serves as a rest for your finger when using the touch screen. So it's something that's been extraordinary well received. Most people that see it just think, why well, haven't avionics done that earlier? One of the things Dynon understands about aircraft is they're not cars, they're not iPads, and we really design things to be in an aircraft for 15 years. These products drop right in to all the wiring and the hole that a Skyview Classic would be in. It is literally possible to upgrade an aircraft to these screens in under 15 minutes. The goal in designing HDX was to make it a little bit easier to use. It was really based around a different user interface now that touch is more available. Dynon very much believes that buttons are a wonderful way to interface with a lot of things in turbulence. It's the whole reason this button's down here and there are still a lot of buttons but touch does give us some really nice things to do. So we've moved, uh, rather than having a bunch of menus, for instance here if I hit transponder, you'll see that I get a very big keypad for transponder. And that's not something that the previous Skyview did. So HDX is the moving forward where touch is more of the central interface but without making it the only one. Well the next questions are obviously accessories, pricing, and availability. Yeah. Everything that is not a big, bright, colorful screen has not changed with this system. So all of our accessories, the AHARs, the radio, those all remain exactly the same. And as I mentioned, upgrading it is simple because those can all stay right in the airplane if you do upgrade. The pricing on it runs about $400 to $500 more per screen. However, at this show, Dynon has started including the map function with all screens sold, which used to be a $500 option. Availability on these is expected in fall. They are currently flying. They were flown here. These are real units, and we're just finishing final software testing and hardware validation before we give a really high-quality product to our customers. Ian Jordan from Dynon Avionics, we sure appreciate your time in Oshkosh 2016, and we're really looking forward to seeing what uh, you come up with next. Aero TV is brought to you by Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Explore no limits flying in the FAA certified Sea Ray Amphibious LSA. One of the top three best selling LSAs in the U.S., Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray comes equipped with a Rotax engine and exhibits extraordinary handling on land, water, and in the air. Check it out at www.searay.com.